Hey Dutch crew, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing this. We're going to get this straight out of the box and open. And I'll have to run it through and see what we've got in the box. First out, we've got our great tool. Next out, our great. And then the L Razor incinerator. Some warning instructions. Don't need them. Unpack this tool. So this is a beast of a unit. It's made of 11 gauge steel, which is almost three millimeters. That's just shy of one eighth. Comes with this carbon steel grill grate, which is just over six mil. That's one quarter of an inch. Been laser cut smooth on one side and quite uh, rough on the other side it's got this wide mouth here which is easy for lighting you can put paper in here or like a fire lighter like these in very easy the charcoal capacity of this beast is 10 pound that's four and a half kilos of charcoal the engineering build on this thing is immense this is a nice knurled handle here. Comfortable for lifting or pouring out your charcoal. And all in all, it's just a beast. You get this tool with it, which is to lift the grill grate. So it goes in and lifts off. And also, we've got a bottle opener. These are your typical charcoal starters. This is this season's one. It's not too bad. This is the previous season. You can see it's rusted and started to burn through the bottom. Now we we'll look at the L-Razor incinerator. The bottom plate is again 6 mil, quarter of an inch, the same as the cooking grate. I don't think we're going to burn through this. It's time to fire this thing up. So we're just going to have some lump charcoal. We're going to fill it to the top. And we're going to use one of the Dutchies fire starters. These are just wax cups filled with wood shavings and filled then with natural wax. I'm just going to push it underneath. We're going to use the grill grate tool. And we're going to get this thing going. So after about 10 minutes, you can see this has really taken hold. The heat off this is absolutely amazing. If you want to become a Dutch crew member, it's easy. Just click the subscribe button below. The incinerator has been going now for about 15 minutes. And look, I can touch this handle. I can keep hold of it. And it's not hot at all. Now it's time to season our grill plate. We're just going to pop it in and give it 10 minutes to get warm. Then we're going to give it a spray with oil, high temperature vegetable oil, anything like that. Take some kitchen towel and just wipe it across the grill grate to get an even covering. Leave this for 10 minutes. Go back, repeat the process. Leave for 10 minutes and come back and give it our final coating. see on this uh, grill right now it's got a nice dull sheen to it it's ready to cook first thing we're going to cook on this is some just some skirt steak we'll pop it on we'll give
give it one minute. Then I'm going to turn it to 90 degrees. One minute. And then we're going to turn it over. One minute. Turn it to 90 degrees. As you can see, this grill grate is totally non stick. This skirt steaks add four minutes total, two minutes either side. We're going to take it off. We're going to rest it for about 15 minutes. While the steak's resting, we're just going to toast up a chia batter bun. The chia batter bun's toasted. It's time to build this sandwich. We're going to carve this skirt steak across the grain. Lovely medium rare. We're going to start building this sandwich. We're going to add some Dutch's homemade chimichurri. That was unboxing the Hellraiser incinerator. First burning, seasoning the grill grate, and a nice skirt steak sandwich to finish. Best steaks are. I like that. Too much oil. Mm. The card here on the left was chosen especially for you.